Hello and welcome to my Williams Road to Glory career mode here today for the Singapore Grand Prix back in Singapore one of my favourite tracks but here is some R&D that I've got to do the engine was absolutely shot so we're going to have a brand new engine for the rest of the season so we're going to be starting last and here's the Lewis quick. Hamilton lines up on pole position edging out Max Verstappen who'll start from P2 considering the rest of the grid we have Bottas Perez Charles Leclerc and Norris Sainz Gasly Russell and Daniel Ricciardo Vettel Sonoda Lance Stroll and Giovinazzi Joe Mick Schumacher, Christian Lundgaard, and Nikita Mazepin, Ocon and Brown. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. So it means we started last, I decided to go with a one stop because that's usually quite powerful round there and the leaders do get caught up behind them. So maybe we could get some points out of it, you never know. But as the lights go out, it's Hamilton Fever stopping down into turn one. But it's a great start though by Valtteri Bottas. The other Mercedes, as we send it down the inside, I'm pretty sure that we gain some places at the start here. Around the inside, we go forward again two places. And now look at the Alpine and the Haas come where to well as Verstappen leads the Grand Prix. And right on the back we're making it send it down the inside of the other halves and we're going to get both Alpines there. And now next up is Antonio Giovinazzi. He's going to be looking for a good result after that DNF at his home Grand Prix. That scary, scary incident. And the last lap is the two Alpines to go wheel to wheel. And it is Ocon and Granny Joe that gets past Ocon. Now down the inside we go on Antonio Giovinazzi. And that is a great position as we are up into 14th to start in last. Next up uh, is the Aston Martin. Flat straw, but unfortunately, we couldn't catch him up and he absolutely flew away. But we were just staying in front of Antonio Giovinazzi. But into the bits, the two stoppers come now onto the set of the mediums. And for Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton in the background there. Now to the pits, they come. Let's look back in behind. Though he's possibly going a bit longer, here is Giovinazzi also pitting on the same lap as Verstappen, so he's looking for the end of on us. As Sebastian Vettel pits, which puts us in the lead of the Grand Prix. Funny if that was at the end, but these three behind us, the actual leaders, the gap was eight seconds. They took about two seconds a lap out of me so much and pace they had on compared to the obviously the car as well as Lewis Hamilton gets past us compared to um, new medium to old medium obviously the car helps as well but still ridiculous as we pit and let Verstappen and Bottas go and now we come into the pits to pit, fit the hard tyres for our one and only stop of the night if nothing dramatic happens for the rest of the Grand Prix. And there you go. Let's see what we can do on these hard tyres as Giovinazzi has beaten us out and we've been beaten out also by Esteban Ocon who's managed to re-overtake his teammate and we just about beat out Guan Yu Zhou. As one lap later, Charles Leclerc's engine has gone. And that's a big, big issue for Charles Leclerc. And he is out of the Grand Prix. 
but we were stuck in a loop here where we were just about keeping Granny Jo at jabbing distance but we couldn't quite stick the Vespa lock on but these hard tyres started to come into their own a little bit as those mediums wore, wore off and we did start to catch Ocon quite a bit you can see the gap there as he pits at the end of lap 20 and now as we see out this is the two stoppers here comes down now Ricardo absolutely blitzes us down the first DRS the straight there's nothing we can do about that these hard tyres may have been good against old mediums but against new mediums are absolutely shot is here comes Lando Norris down into turn one and Carlos oh, it's gonna just just make it free wide as I get absolutely mugged by both of them there and Sainz now wheel to wheel with his former teammate around the outside he tries to go he go on to the DRS straight and Sainz gets DRS and Sainz he's gonna blitz around the outside of Lando Norris we get DRS and we're gonna send it down the inside of our fellow Brit and Yuki Sonoda has seen his chance to follow us through as well as further on the lap you can see how much we're struggling and how far sight had gained in about half a lap on us if we go wide and Yuki Sonoda goes down the inside going under the grandstand you don't normally see an overtake there and he couldn't make it stick he tried again through the chicane and now through the final corner and down towards turn one look at the exit he gets and he's alongside down inside we hold it once again round the outside and Lando Norris is trying to get past and you can see the trainers both Astons are also in this battle but finally third time lucky for Yuki Tsunoda he does overtake us down at the end of that DRS straight now here comes Lando Norris we go a little bit wide we can get the power down and now down on this pretty pointless second DRS straight round the outside tries to go we defend him and now the two Aston Martins are looking at him round the outside again tries Lando Norris and even though we squeezed him wide look at the exit he gets off that final corner compared to us as he gets us into turn one and the two Aston Martins now are side by side in the background I decided to tell myself as we see these two side by side that if we fall out of the points we might as well pit and put on some softs and try and nick the fastest lap so at the end of that lap when Lando got past us that's exactly what I did because otherwise we were going to waste our time just defending the Aston Martins they would have actually got us probably and it would have just been driving a nice those last couple of laps so try we may not be able to obviously those Mercedes and Red Bulls are much quicker than us but we are going to try and get the fastest lap here in Singapore we come out on the end of lap 25 and we're down pretty much at the back only ahead of Nikita Mazepin who pitted right at the start of the race and these three though are who we're battling and you can see here with, we're saying um, personal best sectors but we went a little bit wide and that was pretty much our own attempt to get fast slap but here's the gap to them ahead you see 6.7 seconds and here's the gap at the end of the lap, 1.3 seconds that's how quick these soft tyres were compared to what to worn mediums as down the inside we go on Lungard as Daniel Ricciardo is slowing down on lap 29 and I was absolutely gutted because Ricciardo overtook us and if we could have kept them behind the Aston Martins, we could have got a point but Lewis Hamilton wins from Verstappen and it's another podium for Pierre Gasly as we're now 
gonna try and get make sure my guy and Quentin Joe on this last lap as we catch Mick Schumacher napping and get past the German now can we get Randy Joe on this last lap do you think about to spa we could not do it there can we do it going into the last couple of corners we'll have the grip coming out to the last proper corner but we just couldn't do it and we're gonna come home now after an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. So Lewis Hamilton wins the Singapore Grand Prix, and it's the first time in this career mode that the title has not been decided in Singapore and it's very close at the top between all four of the drivers both Red Bull and Mercedes Hamilton Bottas Verstappen and Sergio Perez as you can see here is still so tight at the top with only two rounds to go we don't get any points here's the constructors but after a pretty dull race, we'll come back down to earth after that cracker in Monza. Hope you enjoyed it. And for the next race, we head to Mexico for the very first time in this career mode. So we'll see what happens there. But thanks for watching. And I will see you for the Mexican Grand Prix. Goodbye.